Welcome to another video edition by Dirk eTeacher, bringing you practical ideas directly from the classroom and media for the classroom. Language Structures and Conventions, Goran Gorilla Talks, Part 1, Level, Grade 6 and Beyond. Actions, View and Listen, Read Along, Deduce, Speak, Ask and Answer, Write. Concepts covered. Punctuation, noun, adjective, verb, articles, setting of a story, simple tenses, metaphor and simile, stem, prefixes and suffixes. Get your writing materials ready and pause the video when you get to the activities. Write a date and heading so long. Hi friends, welcome to Goran's Gorilla Talk. This is part one. This is where I share 10 facts with you about us today. Gorillas are large herbivores, plant-eating, that means apes, and are divided into two species, the eastern gorilla and the western gorilla of Africa. Gorillas are the largest primates, that means apes, in the world. An adult can weigh up to 180 kilograms and stand at about 1.7 meters tall on his hind legs. Gorillas eat mostly leaves, stems and fruits of plants and sometimes a little meat also, insects. You will find us in the dense forests of Central and West Africa. With our strong arms, we are adapted to life in the trees and on the ground. We live in groups called troops or bands. Our leader is a dominant silverback male. Our groups are made up then by females and kids. We have our own language. We hoot, grunt, roar, use body language like beating our chests and female expressions just like you to express our feelings. My Corona fellows are very intelligent. We you can use tools, solve many different problems, and even learn sign language when taught by humans. Female gorillas have one baby at a time. An infant stays with its mother for quite a few years. Mothers care for them and teach them how to survive. People think we are aggressive by nature. That's not true. We are gentle, calm, and peaceful giants, and only get irritated and upset when we feel threatened, like you do. Why are we endangered? People chop down the trees we live in and from. Poachers hunt us down, and then diseases like Ebola are harmful to us. What can you do to help? Please join conservation efforts to protect us from dying out. It breaks my heart to hear about gorillas in cages and zoos. Set them free to live free like you do. Do me a favor. At your school, make a project like Gorilla Week for Gorilla Awareness. You can work in groups. Design posters with colorful pictures of gorillas and write facts about us next to them. Write essays and hold discussions. How about a gorilla poem? That would be great. Remember, I am counting on you. Please come back here again for another broadcast on Goran's Gorilla Talk. Until next time, bye. Oral Review 1. Please read and speak along. 1. Synonyms are words that have more or less the same meaning, e.g. pretty, lovely, beautiful, attractive, can be used one in place of the other. The pretty, lovely, beautiful or attractive woman is my mother. Noun types. A. Proper nouns are specific names of things, e.g. Jack, Africa, Durban, etc. B. Collective nouns indicate a collection of things, e.g. team of workers, a fleet of ships, a flight of stairs, a swarm of bees, 
The particular collective nouns are highlighted in yellow here. Oral review number two, punctuation. Example number one, John says, comma, open inverted comma, capital letter W, wait, exclamation mark, close inverted comma. From left to right, sentences begin with capital letters, capital letter J, comma before a quote, after says, quotation marks either side of direct words, before the W of wait, and after the exclamation mark. Exclamation mark after exclamations, interjections, and commands. Number two, are you coming along? It's a question, so what do we put there? Question mark after a question. Number three, the closest comma large store sells the following items, colon, chalk, comma, pen, comma, pencils, comma, paper and glue, full stop or period. From left to right, commas between multiple adjectives, after, closest, before large and nothing between large and store. Then to the right, colon before a list, following items, colon, it's almost like a popular quotation to say the following and then after that, a colon. Chalk, comma, pens, comma, pencils, comma, commas between listed items and not before and. Full stop or period after a statement. Then lastly, number four. You're struggling, semicolon, let me help you, exclamation point. Combine two complete sentences with a semicolon. Your struggling is one, and without putting a stop there and starting a new sentence, we put a semicolon there to indicate that we are continuing, and then that's the next sentence. Let me help you. And that wraps up our punctuation review. Oral review two, simple tenses. A, present tense. The sun always rises in the east. We use the present simple tense for things like habitual or things that are universally true. B. Past tense. The sun rose at 7 this morning. Any action that happened before the present time. C. Future tense. Will plus the verb. The sun will rise again tomorrow. Any action that has not yet happened. Oral Review 3 Continuous Tenses Ongoing at a certain time First up, present continuous tense is, am or are plus verb plus ing Sean is singing now. We have a graphic there that indicates that this action is taking place in a window of now. B. Past continuous tense. Was or were plus verb plus ing. Sean was singing at six yesterday. There's our graphic that shows a window of activity in the past. C. Future continuous tense. Will plus B plus verb plus ing. Sean will be singing tonight. There's our graphic again that shows a window of activity in the future. Oral Review 4 5. Perfect tenses completed by a certain time. Present, past, past participle. First column is our present tense, the present simple tense. The middle column is our past tense normal past tense. The moment we go to the perfect tenses, we have to use the past participle and either has, have or had with the past participle. Catch, caught, has or have caught, write, wrote, 
has or have written. There's our graphic. In the present perfect tense, it was completed in the present. Here's our example sentence. Present perfect tense has or have plus the past participle. Sean has sung a song a while ago. The past perfect. Completed in the past. It's also known as the past in the past. Past perfect tense had for all persons plus the past participle. Sean had sung a so song last year. The future perfect tense. Here we have the perfect tense with will have plus the verb past participle. Sean will have sung his song when by noon tomorrow. Read and answer one. Please pause the video at the slide end. Paragraph one. Gorillas are large herbivores, that means plant-eating apes, and are divided into two species, the eastern gorilla and the western gorilla. Paragraph two. Gorillas are the largest primates, apes, in the world. An adult male can weigh up 280 kilograms and stand about 1.7 meters tall on his hind legs. Write a date and heading in your scribbler or exercise book and start answering the questions below. Question number one. Give the synonyms for A. Plant eating B. Meat eating C. Plant and meat eating D. Ape 2. Who weighs more? An adult male gorilla or your pet dog? Read and answer two. Paragraph three. Gorillas eat mostly the leaves, stems and fruits of plants and sometimes insects. Four. You will find us in the dense forests of Central and West Africa. With our strong arms, we are adapted to life in trees and on the ground. Question 3. What kind of noun is West Africa? 4. How is a gorilla adapted for life in trees? Read and answer number 3. 5. Koran says, we live in groups called troops or bands. Our leader is a dominant silverback male. Our groups are made up by many females and kids. 6. We have our own language. We hoot grunt, roar, use body language like beating our chests and facial expressions just like you to express different feelings. 7. My gorilla fellows are very intelligent. We can use tools, solve problems and even learn sign language when taught by humans. 5. Question number 5. Identify the noun type of band and troop. 6. Describe the language of gorillas how do they communicate? 7. Do you think gorillas have feelings? Explain. 8. A friend thinks that gorillas are dumb. What can you say to correct him or her? Read and answer number 4. 9. Change the following sentence into the tenses below. A. Present tense. Mothers care for their kids and teach them. Question number 10. Change the following sentence into the tenses below. A. Present continuous. The infant is staying with its mother. Read and answer number five. Paragraph eight. Female gorillas have one baby at a time. An infant stays with its mother for quite a few years. Mothers care for them and teach them how to survive. Paragraph nine. People think we are aggressive by nature. That's not true. We are gentle, calm and peaceful giants and only get irritated and upset when we feel threatened. Paragraph 10. Why are we endangered? People chop down the trees we live in and from. Poachers hunt us down and then diseases like Ebola 
are very harmful to us. Question 11. Who or what is a gorilla's biggest threat? 12. What can we do to correct the wrong things people do to gorillas? Read and answer 6. What can we do to help? Please join conservation efforts to protect us from dying out. It breaks my heart to hear about gorillas in cages and zoos. Set them free to live free like you. Do me a favor at your school. Make a project like Gorilla Week for Gorilla Awareness. You can do the following in groups. Design posters with colorful pictures of gorillas and facts about us. Write essays and hold discussions. How about a gorilla poem? That would be great. Remember, I'm counting on you. Please come back here again for another broadcast on Goran's Gorilla Talk. Until next time, bye. Question 13. What would you do for a Gorilla Awareness Week at your school? Memorandum for Self-Marking and Corrections number 1. Please pause the video here when you have the whole page in view. 1. Give the synonyms for A. Plant eating, herbivorous B. Meat eating, carnivorous C. Plant and meat eating, omnivorous D. Ape is primate 2. An adult male gorilla 3. What kind of noun is West Africa, its proper noun. 4. It has strong forearms. 5. Collective nouns. 6. They hoot, grunt, roar, use body language and beat their chests. 7. Yes, they use facial expressions to express their different feelings. 8. They use tools, solve problems and even learn sign language when taught by humans. Memorandum 2. 9. Change the following sentence into the tenses below. A. Present tense. Mothers care for their kids and teach them. Past tense. Mothers cared for their kids and taught them. C. Future tense. Mothers will care for their kids and will teach them. 10. Change the following sentence into the tenses below. A. Present continuous tense, the infant is staying with its mother. Past continuous tense, the infant was staying with its mother. C. Future continuous, the infant will be staying with its mother. 11. Who is a gorilla's biggest threat? Well, it's got to be humans and then diseases. 12. What can we do to correct the wrong things people do to gorillas? Own ideas based on the passage, e.g. stop poaching, setting up safe areas, or run gorilla awareness campaigns. 13. What would you do for gorilla awareness week at your school? Learners give their own ideas. Thanks for watching, listening, reading, speaking and writing along. Graphics. Adobe Express, audio to animation, some own and online. Text presentation, layout and narration by Dirk Kutsia. Please like and subscribe below the video. This video is also available as a PowerPoint presentation. Click the link in the description below. Return to playlists for similar and other videos. Click this link in the description below. Bye for now and take care.